All right, lads, we are back. Welcome back to the channel. What's the crack? European Club Championship, Kai Havertz, Vlahovic, Martinez. This guy, Martinez, lads, has really impressed me, right? As I said, I played on Friday's stream with all of the player of the weeks. Like, I tested out a few of them, tested out different things, different versions of the cards, obviously, for ones we didn't get. But we did get Martinez, and he really did surprise me. The speed in the game at the moment now, lads, is so balanced that it's not really a big deal if you have players that don't have 85-90 speed. It's more about his player ID, his positioning for defenders, especially if you do a lot of manual defending. You can actually def define and really defend deep if you want to. Look at the cards that are not really worth it for me, right? I do like the fact that Duran gets a card and Rico Lewis, as well as Lookman again getting another card. It's not really a strong, it's the strongest card for Lookman. This guy as well, Seema, very, very fast. A uh, whole player can play left, right, up front, left wing, right wing, super sub, air superiority. He's quite tall. He's quite fast. Again, let down by his balance as all tall players are in the game. They really need to look at clips of Berbatov when he was playing. Burkamp. They had exceptional balance for big men. You know, big, big kind of hold up men. Martinez, as I mentioned, doesn't have exceptional stats, but he's very, very decent, especially as a free to play. He's everything you could possibly want defensively. And he's actually not that bad, man. I played a good few games with him. Jumping, physical contact, stamina, and all his defensive stats above 85. Pretty decent. We also have Ba. Ba. <laughs> not the goat. More like the sheep, okay? This guy is pretty decent, but he's not going to be meta. Like, he's not going to be meta at all, right? 80 lofted passes and attack and fullback. Rest of his skills are pretty decent. He has one touch pass. He's got interception. He doesn't have blocker, but that's not really a necessity for a, a, an attack and fullback. His defense and his aggression is kind of where it goes downhill for this guy, right? He doesn't get over 75 in defensive engagement or aggression. That's a pity. Um, and his acceleration and, and speed. His speed will go to 90, but his acceleration won't. It's an average card, lads. Let's be honest, right? As most of these are at this stage. Duran. So, obviously, Aston Villa fans will like the fact that this guy gets a card. Um, it's an okay card. Super sub, obviously, off the rip, as usual, uh, for these cards. He scored against Bayern München. 21 years of age. He'll definitely feature again. I think he'll definitely get an, another card in the future. It's an okay card. It's not a bad card at all. Nothing to complain about. Look, man. Uh, very nice card as well. Tight possession, dribbling, everything pretty much where you want it to be over the 85. Really had a lot of fun with Lookman before. He looks cool in the game. He's actually very silky to use. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Lautaro Martinez, just not as good. Not as kind of like player ID-ish, if that makes sense. Uh, but he has unwavering form. Goalkeepers, I never bother too much with the goalkeepers, lads. He's got the saving plus three. It's not going to really make a difference. You need to have a goalie plus 90 in pretty much every stat now, and there's no excuse for not having it. So if you get him, you can always upgrade it. Rico Lewis, again, Man City fans will like this card. He looks good in the game. He's got a new face, a new additional uh, appearance in the game, as a lot of players have. I have a full video on all the new faces. Low pass is really good. He's a City boy, obviously. Man City boy is going to be able to do that, those passes, nice, quick passes, but the passing is busted in the game, so that kind of counteracts itself. The rest of his stats are pretty decent. You know, it's a pretty decent card. These cards are kind of like mid-tier. They're all mid-tier. These two boys here, obviously playing in the Serie A, and these two boys playing in the Premier League, right? I feel like as a booster, this guy, Vlahovic, is pretty okay. He's got some nice player skills. Kind of reminds me of Cristiano, uh, Ronaldo, like a couple of older versions of Ronaldo cards. It's that kind of ilk about him. Obviously not as good, but aerial, aerially, he's very good, very strong. He's got long-range shooting, area superiority, heading, uh, fighting spirit. And he's got good physicality with kick and power speed and acceleration. Very underrated card that if you get used to playing with him, he can be a beast for you. Um, also, again, Anchorman DMF. Uh, it's not going to change the dial too much on you. A lot of AI playing style uh, there as well that if you are simming games, has an updated uh, appearance as well. Kick and power is strong. But just, he's just, yeah, he just doesn't really do it as an anchorman. He's not defensive enough for where the game has gone with anchorman. Havertz, again, a lot of people really like Havertz. And this is a this is a nice card as a deep line forward. He has the aerial booster, aerial superiority, heading. It's not a bad card whatsoever, lads. Honestly, it's not a bad card at all. But I just feel like that these cards are kind of like... They're kind of wasted because of the low balance. Like, Havertz has got 70 low balance. The minute you go 50-50, even with somebody like Cannavaro, who's short... The, the game just the game just like takes the ball off you basically it's very hard to play with these guys unless you're just shooting on sight which he can do that at, at a clip 
And then Alex, Alexis McAllister, very decent as well. Kind of an all-rounder, kind of like a Valverde type player, um, but more attacking and not as good. Valverde for me is exceptional in all his cards. McAllister is definitely nice. He's got nice player skills, but he kind of sums up the player of the weeks. Just not over average. Like they're average cards in the grand scheme of things. Now, I will say because everyone, all the time I do these videos, oh, you know, not everyone has the money to spend. And I get that, man. I totally get that. You know, we're playing free to play 50% of the time. And 50% of the time, it's no holds barred Wild Wild West squads that we use because we're obviously in a lucky position to be able to spin. And obviously, people like to see spins. These cards are very usable, man, up to Division 1. There's no doubt about it. They're very usable. Any card that goes over 92, 93 is usable. That's why all these Player of the Weeks can instantly slot into your squad. But in the grand scheme of things, you're talking about these guys being mid, and that's the problem. There's one or two exceptional cards every, every now and again. If you miss my Worldwide Player of the Week review, check that out. And also, I will have this Legacy of Legends one done as well. Until then, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later.